I welcome to Chima class. The next lesson, let's see how we can solve this y problem on algebraic fractions. We are given that x is equal to 2y plus 3 divided by 3y minus 2. And we should express x minus y divided by 2x plus y in terms of y. The problem on substitution in fraction. Are you getting it? We are required here to call this as x and use this value to replace anywhere we see x in the second expression. We are just going to use this and substitute as x, substitute as x here, then simplify the fraction. Solution, let's solve. So given, given x is equal to 2y plus 3 divided by 3y minus 2, substituting So we are going to put the value of x here, which is this. So we have x minus 1 over 2x plus 1 should be equal to, our x is what? This. So we have 2y plus 3 over 3y minus 2. So this is for this. Then minus 1 divided by, we are going to put this one, okay? 2 all in brackets, we we'll put this as x which is equal to what? 2y plus 3 divided by 3y minus 2. We close the brackets. Okay? Plus 1. We put plus 1 here. So these are the fractions. These are the fractions. Okay? That have formed. So this is our numerator. This is our denominator. So we are going to do what? Simplify this numerator and denominator separately and then later join it together with this division sign. If this is the numerator, let here the numerator. Let's hear the words, our denominator. So, simplify both the numerator and denominator. Okay, let's simplify them there. So, from numerator now, numerator we have, we have it to be what? 2y plus 3 over 3y minus 2 minus 1. Okay? Good. So this is a fraction. And uh, well, this is our LCM. We are going to use this LCM to multiply two. So when we do that, we have, we have it to be, our LCM is this, 3y minus 2. 3y minus 2 divided by 3y minus 2, we have what? 1. So we are going to use the 1 to multiply the what? Numerator, so that we have 2y plus 3. Then there is an invisible one here, okay? So we have 3y minus 2 divided by invisible 1 here. We still have 3y minus 2. So we're going to use that 3y minus 2 to multiply the minus 1. So that we have minus 1, all brackets, 3y minus 2. Good. Now let's simplify for that. So that we have 2y plus 3 minus, minus 1 times 3y. You have 3y. Minus 1 times minus 2, you have plus 2. All divided by 3y minus 2. Good. Can we collect like this? Yes. Because we have 2y minus 3y and then 3 plus 2. Okay? So that we have our numerator. Numerator is equal to 2y minus 3y. We have minus 1. Because 2 minus 3 is what? Minus 1. But you don't call it minus 1. Because we are dealing with variable. We call it what? Minus 1. So minus 1, 3 plus 2, we have plus 5. All divided by 3y minus 2. Good. This is the numerator. Now, denominator. This is our denominator here. This is our denominator. We have something like this. 2 all plus 3. 2 all divided by 2y plus 3. Divided by 3y minus 2. Then plus 1. Okay? We have something like this. 2 times 2y and 2 times 3. We have 4y plus 6, all divided by 3y minus 2, plus 1. This is also another fraction for the denominator. So which we are going to do was simplify just like this one. Are you getting it? We are going to simplify the denominator, which is this one. The numerator has been simplified, which is this one. So let's simplify this also. We are going to use this 3y minus 2 as LCM also 
to simplify, when we do that, we have we have here this is 3y minus 2 minus 2 as the LCM. Let me put it down, LCM. Let me put it down there also, LCM. So LCM, divided by this LCM, we have 1. 1 multiplied by 4y plus 6, we have 4y plus 6. Good. This multiplied by this 3y minus 2 divided by an invisible one here. There is an invisible one here. This 3y minus 2 divided by this one, you still have 3y minus 2. Multiply it by 1, you have plus 1. All brackets. All brackets what? 3y minus 2. Good. So let's simplify further. Let's collect like terms. Okay? Let's collect like terms. As I clean here. Find that the denominator is equal to 4y plus 6 plus 1, all brackets, 3y minus 2, all divided by 3y minus 2, okay? So we have this. Now, let's open the bracket and collect like them so that we have 4y plus 6. 1 times 3y, we have plus 3y. 1 times minus 2, you have minus 2 over 3y minus 2. So that we have 4y plus 3y, we have 7y. 6 minus 2, you have plus 4, okay? All divided by 3y minus 2. This is our denominator, okay? This is our what? Denominator y numerator is equal to what? This is our numerator minus y plus 5 over 3y minus 2. Now, let's express it for that. Numerator divided by our denominator, we have it to be minus y over the din. So you have minus 5 plus 5 all divided by 3y minus 2 divided by 7y plus 4 divided by 3y minus 2. Okay? Good. This is our numerator and this is that denominator. This expression is the same thing as saying minus y plus 5 all divided by 3y minus 2 divided by 7y plus 4 all over 3y minus 2. This expression and this expression they are the same. But now, since we are having something like this, we are going to change this division sign and use multiplication and then take the inverse of this second fraction. Okay? So that this and this can go. So it's still the same thing as saying minus y plus 5 over 3y minus 2. Multiply by, we are going to change this division sign. Multiply by, now 3y minus 2, all divided by what? 7y plus 4. So this can cancel. And we are now having, we are now having minus y plus 5, all divided by what? 7y plus 4, which is the same thing as saying 5 minus y, all over what? 4 plus 7y. Therefore, expressing x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 1 in terms of y, we'll be having 5 minus y divided by 4 plus 7y. Or we just give it minus y plus y divided by 7y plus 4. That's just how to solve problems on substitution in fractions. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and follow my class for more lessons. Bye.